Hey church, this Sunday we're starting a new series called Kingdom Politics. And as we get ready to move into this new series, there's a couple things I want to let you know about. First, this Sunday you can pick up, if you have not already, picked up one of these signs that says, I pray. This serves as a reminder to you to be praying for our nation as we move into 21 days of fasting and prayer together. It's also a great reminder for your neighbors to know, hey, there's a believer here who is praying for our country. We're also going to share with you this Sunday some I Prayed stickers that you can put on a water bottle, your laptop, your phone case, uh, somewhere that you can use as a reminder for you to be praying for our nation as we move into this political season. Now, I'm going to let you know that the next four weeks as we go through this Kingdom Politics series are going to be very challenging for you as we talk about things that you probably have not heard from the pulpit before. And so I want to encourage you to bring your Bible. And if you don't have a good study Bible, we are happy to give one to you. This week we'll have extra study Bibles on hands if you do not have a study Bible of your own. But I want to encourage you to bring your Bible, to come with an open mind and an open heart, to hear what God has to say about politics from Scripture. This Sunday, we're going to talk about God and government, and we're going to talk about how God has ordained and structured government uh, entities in our society, from the family to the church to societal civil government. And we're going to talk through uh, what God desires from us as born-again believers as we look at the political climate that we are facing in our country today. I also want to remind you, this Sunday, we are starting 21 days of prayer and fasting for our nation. Our team has put together one of these prayer journals. Our hope was to get them all together, uh, all 21 days in one journal. Uh, but because of space in the journal itself, we are going to produce a different journal every week. So this is seven days of prayer prompts specifically for our nation in the realm of politics as we move into this election season. I want to encourage you, if you have not been at church for a little while, to come this Sunday at 9 or 1030 as we discuss some important information about kingdom politics and how God has created us to have a voice in this nation. I also want to encourage you to invite a friend, invite your neighbor. This is, I know that as I've been studying the material for the last six months, it's been very challenging for me. The last thing I want to let you know about is if you have questions, things that you want me to address from the pulpit, uh, things that you don't understand in the realm of kingdom politics uh, and the way that a born-again believer should interact with the government, we would love to hear those questions, and you can email them to elders at highhillchristianchurch.org. We'd love to hear what those questions are and do our best to try to answer them uh, to the best of our ability. Make sure you are here this Sunday, and make sure that as we move into this 21 days of prayer and fasting, that you've thought about what you're going to fast from uh, and how you're going to engage in prayer over the next 21 days as we move towards the election. Can't wait to see you this Sunday.